Hello, I'm Mary Ann Musserid. Um, I'm the Like Canberra Party uh, candidate for the electorate of Currajog in the uh, election, which is coming up next weekend. I hope you're all ready to vote if you haven't voted already. Today, welcome to my kitchen, and today I'm going to uh, cook something that is uh, something I've been making for many, many years. Uh, when I uh, first left home, uh, uh, when I, in my 20s, my mother gave me a cookbook. And she said, if you can cook everything in this cookbook, you'll do well. You'll, you'll always be able to you know, pr provide for yourself and healthy recipes. Um, and the, this chap, Robert Carrier, used to be on the, the television, so I used to watch his uh, uh, cooking shows, which were always very uh, entertaining. And I know which recipe I'm cooking because the, the book's so old, the page has fallen out. Today we're cooking French lemon tarts. The first most important thing for me is I'm using all Australian ingredients, my Defiance flour, my CSR caster sugar, my beautiful um, organic eggs from my girlfriend's farm, and the lemons from my garden. I've got a lovely lemon tree out in my uh, garden in my cat enclosure. Uh, it's a very fiddly recipe and I'm not going to make the, um, the pastry because uh, it tends to fall apart. It's very tricky. It's a bit like this, this whole election. Um, if you pick it up and you think you, you've got a, a grasp on it, it all starts to fall away at the edges. There are so many issues at heart. Uh, the Light Canberra Party um, is formerly known as the Bullet Train Party supports a number of things. Uh, most importantly is we want what's best for Canberra. We want uh, common sense in the Legislative Assembly. It would be really great to have some uh, different views on the crossbenchers. So um, I picked the lemon because a lemon um, is something that if we don't make some right decisions in the near future about what's going to happen to Canberra, we're going to end up with a whole lot of lemons. Um, I'd like to talk about transport, so the bullet train, we need, we need it to come to Canberra, the capital of Australia. Uh, we need somebody in the Legislative Assembly who makes sure this doesn't fall off the agenda because the bullet train is closer than any of us actually think. Um, I'm going to start grating my lemon because um, uh, it's got to go into the, um, the, lemon, the lemon custard that goes into these little tarts. I pre-made my um, pastries so we won't see all the flour flying around the kitchen. Um, so lemons, um, they're a little bit sweet, they're a little bit, when you, they're sour, when you add a little bit of sugar, um, it's like an election sweetener, it changes the taste. Um, so the bullet train, if we don't keep an eye on it, it will pass us by. It will go shooting through Goulburn and Yass and down to Albury and on to um, Melbourne. So what else in the way of transport? Uh, commuter transport. How are we going to manage that in the future? There are a number of options and I wouldn't say that uh, many people are very keen on the light rail. And certainly the Light Canberra Party would really want to see um, a cost-benefit analysis and they'd like to have an open discussion in the, um, in the Assembly about it. Uh, other, other forms of transport, we have these great big uh, sets of action buses, but I'm not entirely sure they suit the needs of everybody in our community. There are other forms of uh, people, there are other forms of transport in, um, that are needed in the community. We need um, off-peak transport. We need uh, transport for older people. We need transport for young mums and babies in the middle of the day. What are our options? Uh, the reason why I also like the lemon is there's a wonderful little um, driverless electric shuttle currently being uh, trialled in Perth. It's uh, French. It's called the Navia electric shuttle. It takes 12 people. Driverless technology, the way of the future. So um, we need to look at, at see if we can trial that. We need to look at go get um, share cars, which are, uh, you see in all uh, the major um, capitals of Australia, and also uh, demand driven networks, which could be anything from Uber through to uh, any other form that is being developed at the moment. So my recipe, I love everything French. Um, I love the French Navia um, electric driverless shuttle. Um, and I love natural ingredients. And this is a very this is a tricky recipe, but I'm just going to put everything in that needs to go in, uh, my sugar, my flour, my lovely grated up um, uh, lemon from the garden, uh, pop in one of my lovely eggs, give it a good beat, just like we're all being beaten up at the moment in this uh, election. Um, and it comes out a lovely creamy, um, a lovely sort of heritage cream that you'd love, you like to paint heritage buildings. And I'm going to pop it, I'm not going to roll out the pastry, but I'm going to pop it into my little uh, Pop-Tart container here. 
and we've run out of time, but I, I have like all good 1970s cooking shows, I have prepared my little French tarts and you note they're in the colors of the light Canberra party, lovely bright yellow, pink and red.